What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you the new fonts feature in iOS 13. So how to install fonts and also what you can do with fonts throughout iOS 13. So ever since the first beta of iOS 13 was announced many months ago, I've had hundreds of requests here on YouTube and on all my other social media accounts from people just wanting to know how the fonts work in iOS 13 and how to install custom fonts on their device. And for some reason, a lot of people had this thought that Apple would just allow us to use custom fonts throughout the OS which is something I don't see ever happening with Apple. I just don't see them ever doing that. Custom fonts just kind of look clunky. They don't really look very clean and minimal, which is what Apple is known for. Now, I know some people like it. Some people would like to have like the app names, uh, you know, be in a different font and things like that and just be able to text in different fonts and things like that. But I just don't see that ever happening. The real reason for introducing custom fonts into iOS 13 is to give us more creativity with our workflow, especially iPad users who use their iPad as like a creative workstation. Anything to do with fonts and anything creative Creative, it's going to be a nice step forward for the iPad. And these custom fonts in iOS 13 will be especially useful when we get the real version of Photoshop for iOS and iPad OS, which will hopefully be coming later this year. Apple did demo it a while back saying that it is coming in 2019, but we really haven't heard anything lately about Photoshop for iOS and iPad OS. And I'm not talking about Photoshop Express, I'm talking about a real Photoshop. So yeah, Apple doesn't allow us to use custom fonts throughout the whole OS, but iOS 13 does at least give us the option to install custom fonts for use in certain applications. For example, inside of the mail application, you can use a different font. You can use multiple different fonts. So if we go ahead to a message here and we start typing, you can see if we click on the little A's right here on the iPad and go to default font right here, we have all these different fonts we can use. And on the iPhone, it does look a little bit different. It's just this little arrow right here. You tap on that then tap on the A, then you could go ahead and change the font in here as well. But you can see here, you could go through all these different fonts and start typing and that will actually show up like in the email when the person gets it, they will see these different fonts and everything. Now, another set of popular applications where this is useful is the iWork application. So pages, numbers, and Keynote, I have those right here. So let's just go into pages. So if you use this suite of applications for your school or for work, you can now use different fonts when writing a paper, writing up a report, making a graph, whatever the case may be, you can actually do that in here as well. This is a test and you can see over here, we do have the option to change our font over here on the left-hand side. And if you click on this little eye, it actually shows you the different types of fonts. You have regular, light, and medium. Of course, that is only available for certain fonts that have those options available. When we go ahead and type, you can see we could type in different fonts just like so. And of course we can have as many different fonts inside of this as we want. And you can also get to this by pressing on the paintbrush right here and then going over here to font and you can see that's how you change it over here as well. I believe that's the only way to do it on the iPhone. But yeah, that's just an example of a couple of applications you can use these custom fonts in. And unfortunately, you can't use these fonts in applications like Google Docs or Microsoft Word just yet, but I'm sure support for those applications and a lot more applications will be coming very soon. This is still very new. There's not a lot of applications out there that allow you to install these custom fonts, which I'm gonna show you how to do here in a second. So I'm expecting a lot of third-party applications and even first-party applications to adopt the functionality for allowing custom fonts inside of those applications. All right, so now let's discuss how to get these fonts installed on your iOS 13 iPhone or iPad and the limitations that are involved with installing these. So basically the way it works here in iOS 13 is through applications. So font applications inside of the App Store is going to be the way that we get these fonts onto our device. So one of the applications that's brand new that actually allows you to install these fonts is called Font Diner. You can either search for that or we'll have that link down in the description as well. It's one of the very few early adopters to allowing us to install these fonts. It's also free. There are other paid options as well, which I will have links to down in the description below. Obviously, since this is free, there's not a ton of fonts. There are a good amount right here. You can see there's a good amount of fonts, uh, but you can get other ones with the paid applications, which again, we'll have the link to down in the description below. But you can see here we have 23 fonts and all you have to do once you download this application is click on activate up here at the top and then agree. And then you get this prompt right here that says install fonts. Fonts installed by Font Diner will be available for use by other apps. Just go and click on install and that's all there is to it. So now you just go into your settings, go to general, go down to fonts, and now you will see you have a bunch of fonts listed here that you're actually able to use now. And if you tap on one of the fonts, you can see you have the copyright info right there. Then you also have the typefaces. So if you tap on the different typefaces, you can see that's regular. You can see you get a little preview of every single character there as well. Of course, if you have one that has more than one typeface, you will get 
more options there, but I believe most of them only have one typeface. Now you also have the edit button right here, which you can actually disable or remove certain fonts here as well. So if you don't like some of these fonts, you can remove them very easily. And if you wanted to just remove them, you can go back to the application and go to library and just toggle off the fonts that you don't like. That way you don't completely delete them from your device. So it's your choice, you could do either one. Now, unfortunately, you cannot import fonts via iCloud Drive in these files application. You can see here, I did try to go into the files application and manually install the Coolvetica font right there. I had the TTF file here in my iCloud Drive, but there was no way to actually install this onto the device, unfortunately. Now, some of you may also know about the iFont application, which has been around for a while now. It basically lets you install custom fonts through a profile. That still works in iOS 13 for some reason, but you do have to go through the annoying process of installing a profile for every single font, but it could be useful to use like in tandem with this feature. You can see here on my daily driver, I did install Coolvetica via a profile. So I do have that font on my device now. So it could be useful if you have specific fonts that you do want, uh, but you can't actually do that natively. You can't install certain fonts from the web natively inside of iOS 13, which kind of sucks. Just seems that there are a lot of limitations with this feature in iOS 13, but at least it's actually working now. And at least a lot of people aren't just left wondering what this fonts feature actually is. So hopefully this video kind of helped you understand what this fonts feature is all about as well, because I know there was a lot of confusion surrounding, you know, is it system wide? Will I be able to change the fonts like inside of my messages application, which no, you can't, at least not yet. You can't change like the, the badges like Safari and settings and FaceTime. You can't change the fonts for anything like that. It's only gonna be in select applications. Again, this is more for like creative users inside of applications like the iWork applications, like pages and you know numbers and things like that. It was never meant to make your device like fully customized, like it's jailbroken or like an Android or anything like that. So yeah, guys, that is the fonts feature in iOS 13. And again, we are still in the very early stages of this. So I'm sure there are gonna be a lot more applications that both support fonts and also a lot of font applications that are going to be coming out that allow you to install a lot more custom fonts. So when those do get released, I will update the description down below. So definitely check that out. I will also label if it's free or paid as well. But if you guys have any questions about the fonts, or if you're wondering if you could do something or not, let me know down in a comment below. I'm sure other people out there will help you out as well. Also, let me know if you're kind of disappointed with the limitations with fonts. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this feature just overall. So I hope that this video was at least a little bit informative and kind of cleared the air a little bit about this feature. If if you did, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a lot more iOS 13 videos. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.